York City jury begins its fourth day of deliberations today in the high-profile, high-society trial of Anthony Marshall, son of the late philanthropist Brooke Astor. Marshall is accused of stealing millions from his own mother. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace has been following the case. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Hard to believe it's been a five-month trial, and the trial has really been a who's who of New York City's rich and famous, with witnesses such as Henry Kissinger and Barbara Walters. But now the jury must decide whether a socialite was taken advantage of or just taking care of her son. She was known as New York City's unofficial first lady, the Grand Dom Brooke Astor. Just passing the library. Who at the time of her death at 105 donated nearly $200 million, not just to high society, but to the neediest causes. Well, she was completely beloved in New York. Meryl Gordon wrote a book about Astor. She could have just been a lady who lunched, and she really wanted to make a difference. I always loved this building. And what everybody loved is that she would show up, even in the scariest neighborhoods of New York, she would wear her white gloves, her Chanel suits, her pearls. These days, the Astor name is making headlines beyond the society page. Astor's 85-year-old son, Anthony Marshall, and his lawyer are accused of stealing $60 million from her, money set aside for charity, by allegedly pushing Astor to change her will even as she suffered from Alzheimer's. Marshall's wife isn't on trial, but she's been described as a villain who strong-armed her husband to get more of the inheritance. Marshall and his wife deny any charges and Marshall says his mother intended for the money to go to him. I feel that the Marshalls were extremely unfairly accused and blasphemed. This was a guy who had a mother for 82 years and he was a good son for 82 years. Whatever the jury decides, the public airing of this wealthy family's dirty laundry will be a sad footnote for an extraordinary woman who not only knew famous people, but memorized the names of security guards at local museums. A woman who, even in her last years, always tried to be a lady. Well, she would dress for dinner every night, even if she was eating on a tray. She would put on her makeup and her jewelry because a lady always dressed for dinner. And observers say if Astor were still alive, she'd be horrified about the trial and the possibility her only son could spend the rest of his life in jail. Because Maggie, if convicted, Marshall faces a maximum of 25 years in prison. We should know soon enough, Kelly. Thank you. Sure.